you a secret. This is a synthetic wig. <laughs> Hi, it's Becky with the good hair. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I don't always look like this, but today I do. This could be a look though. Like if you really want your makeup to like come through, go for a bald cap or like a wig cap, whatever. Today I'm going to be doing one of the most highly requested videos when it comes to wigs. How do we make our wig look natural? Fact is, when you take a wig out the box, chances are it's not really going to look um, as realistic or as not realistic but like it's not going to look like your own hair just by throwing it on and when it's a synthetic wig it's gonna be even more challenging because it's made of plastic oh so mm -hmm. today's video is going to be how to make your synthetic wig look natural or as natural as it could be really bad at presentation guys I have a brand new baby with me today. I have this stunning, I'd say 20 inch long synthetic wig from Yove Wigs. Uh, it is the first time that I'm working with them, but judging by their wigs, it's not gonna be my last because although it is a synthetic wig that they sent me, uh, it is one of the more realistic looking ones. Obviously, color makes a really huge difference. It is a lot easier to make a brown, blonde, black wig look more natural than it is pink or bright blue or, you know, all the more comic-y looking colors. So, today I'm going to be sharing all my great, well, not really secrets, but all, every single thing that I know um, when it comes to laying down your wig. Obviously, there are many, many, many people online and on Instagram who can do it so, so much better that I am still learning from every day, but I feel like I have gotten enough knowledge to be able to share it with you guys. This wig is, to be fair, already easier than most synthetic wigs in the sense that although it is not real human hair, it does come with actual baby hairs and it does come with a pre-plugged hairline. So today I'm probably not going to be doing that much plucking of the hairline, but I'm going to link one of my previous videos down in the description box below in the event that your synthetic or real human hair wig needs a bit of plucking. I'm going to be linking this tanner of a wig down in the description box below. As I said, it is one of the like more easier to wear synthetic wigs. However, obviously it is up to you what kind of a wig you're after. So yes, without further ado, let's get into the styling video. So the first thing we're gonna do is brush out our wigs. Synthetic wigs in particular are very tang, tang, tangy, tang. they get tangled very easily. We're gonna brush it out even if your wig is curly, even if it has waves, just brush it out. It's gonna make your life 10 times easier. So this is synthetic hair, but it looks like a very, very shiny and healthy human hair wig. Next up, we're going to cut off our lace. As you could see, this wig already comes with a pre-plugged hairline, so we're just going to basically cut around our baby hairs. I wanna use these. These are my uh, lace cutting scissors. A lot of people ask me what the hell I do around my ears to try on the wig beforehand, see where the wig overlaps and cut around it. My ear is going to hit somewhere up here, so I'm gonna go up like this and kind of cut in a semicircular shape and then continue up around the hairline. Now we cut off the excess lace around our hairline. Now we're going to cut off the back of it. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally cut off the excess lace at the back. One thing you can do to the back of your wig is you can add a black elastic band to the back so this would add more tension on the wig and basically secure it more to your head but all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tighten up these little thingies at the back so that it's uh, kind of in place. All right!
Now, I personally think that the lace on me is still a bit too long, so I'm just going to cut off a bit, kind of around the hairline and my ears, because I think that it's just a tad too long. Okay, so now that our wig is kind of cut to the right side, it is time to glue it down. Not everyone glues down their wig. Sometimes I don't. I use this instead. It's a silicone band that adheres the wig to my head, but today I feel like going full on out. So we're going to glue it. When someone says glue, typically they use some form of a hair gel. I am obsessed with the Schwarzkopf got to be gel. In fact, I am desperately learning glue. I also have this piece of fabric that I legitimately just cut off, ironically, the backdrop behind me. This is what's going to basically hold down our wig while it dries. So I am just applying it around basically my hairline and over here I'm just going over my head. There are some people who cut out their wig cap and stick it directly onto their head. I don't personally like doing that because I like to reuse my wig caps. So I'm just gonna kind of do it like this. Now all I'm doing is basically pressing down the lace onto the glue or the gel, whatever. Now that we have laid down our wig, we can just kind of wait for it to dry. This usually takes between 20 to 30 minutes. If I haven't done my makeup already, this is the time when I would do it. But uh, until then, we're going to kind of just chill out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in 20-ish uh, minutes. I'm snacking on these really weird cherry tomatoes in a coffee mug. Okay, beauties, I am back. <laughs> I feel like the glue has dried and you feel that it's dried because it doesn't feel cold when you press down. Now we undo it and we do the, the rest of the shebang here. Okay. Boom, now we glue down a wig. I am, I feel slight. The one pro of a synthetic wig over a real human haired wig is because it is made out of synthetic fibers it can't frizz so to me it's already like somebody put like a ton of like styling product on it to stop it from frizzing and it looks like so cool now unfortunately the lace is too dark for my own skin tone so i'm actually going to go over it um, with a bit of foundation to try even that out i'm using a baby blender tonight but see it's like cute and my foundation Because the lace is too dark, it almost looks like we don't have a scalp. So I'm going to be going in with a really tiny brush and a light concealer, just kind of where my parting is and around the hairline. Hi babies! And just like that we look like a princess. So these are all of my tips and tricks anytime that I have any synthetic wig and I definitely want it to look more realistic, more like a real wig or better yet, 
more like no wig at all. I know I usually tell you to go for real human hair wigs. They do have their pros, but I also know that they are quite an investment. They are quite a pricey thing. So sometimes it is easier to go for a realistic looking uh, synthetic wig, or at least make it look realistic. Uh, once you have it. This wig did a fantastic job of it and then all the little um, tricks that we did really helped to encourage the idea that it was a real thing. Obviously you can't really use much heat on it so I wouldn't really recommend um, uh, changing the style that it comes in. However the fact that this came straight once again really helped the idea that it was um, real. So I am going to be linking this wonderful wig down description box below. As I said, it was by Yove Wigs. It is one of the like better or best wigs that I have ever worked with when it comes to synthetic wigs. This is one of my latest headbands that I received from the girls dressing room. I am in love with it. So I'm rocking it today. I'm going to link this also down description box below. Now, without continuing to ramble on, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.